Good evening. Welcome one and all to the 49th Annual Land of the Winners Awards Banquet presented by RaySkilmanCars.com and thanks to Cars Protection Plus, you're going to get to watch the award ceremony next Saturday. It'll be up on D3TV on our division website, NHRA DIV3. So tune in and uh, get to watch it so you'll have an opportunity to uh, uh, have family and friends that maybe didn't have the opportunity to join you here this evening to uh, get to watch the award ceremony here this evening. 49th annual, that means it goes way back, way before my time. I don't know there was anybody, other than Dallas Jones, was there anybody at the first one? No? We had a great season, and it certainly wouldn't be possible without the great folks from Lucas Oil, the great folks at uh, Summit Racing Equipment, Jags, and the many sponsors that we have throughout the uh, series. Our product, Steve Schmidt Competition Engine's Top Sportsman Program, as well as Mike Spitzer and our Spitzer Race Cars Top Dragster Series. Above and beyond that, we have people that provide support to the division, the folks at t and &E Auto Haulers, Todd and Earl Datweiler, that have just been tremendous supporters for us over the years, providing us equipment to get up and down the road and uh, deliver, hopefully, good racing programs in all of our Division Three series. So without uh, any further ado, I would like to uh, recognize some national champions. This is the regional and divisional award ceremony here tonight. But we are very proud of three individuals that claimed national championships in NHRA drag racing this past year. For the very first top dragster national champion, Marco Abruzzi. Marco? Yeah. Yeah. In Super Gas, Jacob Elrod. And our NHRA Summit Racing Series in Sportsman, Nick Hastings. Our congratulations to our national champions. Lynn Kreider, if you would join me, please. Lynn is our Division Three chaplain, our Racers for Christ. Give us an invocation and start our evening off here this evening. Thank you, Jay. We're going to start off by remembering those people that we've had the privilege of knowing, and befriending, and spending time with out there that are no longer with us. They've passed this year, this past year. So we, Bob Thornburg, Super Gas Racer, Leo Tower, our longtime voice of NHRA Division Three, Brainick. Fred Robinson, Double R, Randy Robbins, Brian Olson, announcer and friend to many, Mike Musgrove, Super Comp Racer, Keith Farrell, NHRA Division Three Director. So pause with me as we remember them, and I'll lead you in prayer. <clears throat> Almighty God, we ask you for comfort for the family and friends of those that have gone on. We thank you and praise your name for the privilege of having known them. Lord, we live in an, incre in an increasingly crazy world today. And in this kind of an environment, Lord, we especially thank you for the opportunity to get away from some of the craziness of the world around us to the world of drag racing, and we thank you for that. Lord, we pray that you would bless this sport with safety in this upcoming year. We thank you for watching over us this past year. We pray that you would be with each one that is part of bringing that to us. And Lord, we pray for guidance and direction to the leaders of our country, the troops that try to keep us free, and we pray that we would be blessed with freedom in many years to come for not only us, but our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. And we ask this all along with the blessing on the food in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.
Again, welcome to the 49th Annual Land of the Winners Awards Banquet. It's presented by RaySkillmanCars.com. And speaking of the Skillmans, how about congratulations to Drew Skillman as winner of the 2015 Automobile Club of Southern California Road to the Future Award. And how about Grandpa Ray Bowling Green, first Wally in competition eliminator, his victory at Beach Bend Raceway Park this last August as well. Congratulations to the both of them. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our Master of Ceremonies this evening. He joined us at a couple of uh, races at the latter part of the 2015 year, was instantly part of the North Central Division family, and I'm pleased to say that he'll be joining us this next year to call the action in our 2016 NHRA Lucas All Drag Racing Series events. Please welcome Bob Unkefer. Well, hi, everybody. I've got a lot of new faces I've got to get to know. And it's going to take a little bit of time. But if you all will uh, bear with me and uh, just kind of work with me and just let me know who you are as uh, time goes on, we'll uh, get to know each other and go from there. Uh, I would like to say that doing the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series Tour for the number of years that I have, I'm, I'm always trying to be conscious of what you all are trying to do uh, with your racing endeavors, with your sponsors, with your special guests. If you have a special guest at a race or some special circumstance, uh, 20th anniversary, let, let me know. Send up a note to the tower, let me know. We, uh, I'd like to share it with everybody. But I do have this to say. If you're going to send up a note, have your wife write it. Guys, I've seen your tech cards. Please have your wife write it if you would. <laughs> That's all I ask, but I'm looking forward to it. This should be a great year. We'll be back next year for the 50th annual here in, in Division Three. That's incredible. But uh, you guys put on some, some great competition. I thoroughly enjoyed St. Louis and, and Bowling Green this year and looking forward to looking forward to all six up next year. I hope you'll have me and uh, we'll have some fun and rock and roll and, and work our way through it. Again, it's a pleasure to be with you all for, for 2016. Thank you. I would like to get rolling this evening by having Rosalie Noble from Draw. Rosalie, if you'd come on up to the stage, please. Rosalie has a special presentation that she'd like to make this evening. And on behalf of Draw, I would like to have Rosalie come up. And those of you that uh, maybe aren't that familiar with Draw, I can't believe you wouldn't be after all these years. A great organization. I have seen it work for our racers in need. And all I can do is say, please, please support Draw. Stairs are not my favorite friends. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for helping. Uh, first, I want to say welcome aboard, Bob. I'm, I'm going to guarantee you, you people are going to fall in love with Bob Ungerford. There is not a better guy out there. He is going to do a great job for you. And as he said, let him know what's going on in your lives because uh, he's definitely a part of drag racing. Known Bob for a lot of years. Um, as he said, hopefully you all do know about Draw. We're the charity that provides assistance to drivers and crew members injured in a drag racing accident at a track. We are just completing our 30th year. It's still an all-volunteer organization. We have provided assistance to 855 families, our drivers, in the 30 years. This year, we surpassed the $5 million amount of money that we paid out. Uh, <clears throat> That's something to be said for the racing community because that's where all of our support comes from, is the racing community, the sponsors, the drivers, the fans. And uh, it's just uh, kind of remarkable that for 30 years you've been able to provide for each other. Um, we've did a, we did a 50-50 tonight, and uh, we're going to uh, draw the ticket, and uh, we'll see who wins. By the way, this is Debbie Thompson. And she's the track rep here at uh, Lucas Oil Raceway. Hey. All right. Leave me up. This is Caleb Burns, and we're going to give him $345. Thank you. 
Each year, Draw presents three awards that's selected by the Board of Directors. We do a Draw Person of the, the Year, and uh, Angel Sampe was the winner this year. We do an Organization or Company of the Year, and this year it was Ed Mann with Racers Processing. And uh, we also do a Tracy Winters Draw Volunteer of the Year for 1950, 2015. Um, it's my honor to make that presentation tonight. Um, our own Debbie Thompson. <laughs> Did not know that she's the recipient. Deb, <laughs> Deb has been a draw member since almost the beginning. And as I said, she's the track rep here, and she's also an RFC chaplain. And this year she took it upon herself to write all the RFC chaplains, send them a business card and ask them to be sure to let us know when there's an injury. Because believe it or not, uh, not a lot of the tracks will tell us about an injury. And we have to depend on the chaplains, the other racers and the fans to let us know. So my plea to you is please, if you know of an injury, let us know. And I have an award for Debbie. The Tracy Winters Draw Volunteer of the Year Award for 2015. Oh. <laughs> I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a safe 2016. Thank you. Draw is a great organization. Like I said, unfortunately, I have seen it work too many times. But they're there for the racers, and please, if you would, support them. We would like to uh, special, special recognition to our tracks here in Division Three. I've had the opportunity to meet some of the track owners and operators this weekend. They've been very busy for the last couple of days at managers' meetings, track operators' meetings, getting sharing tidbits, exchanging ideas, talking about the upcoming season, uh, and everything that they can do to, to help you and, and the racers here in Division Three. We'd like to recognize our tracks here in the division. Beacon Dragway out of Paducah, Kentucky. Beach Bend Raceway Park in Bowling Green. In Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill Drag Strip here in Indiana. Byron Dragway in Rockford, Illinois. Coles County Dragway in Charleston, Illinois. Over in Terre Haute, Crossroads Dragway. Edgewater Sports Park in Cleves, Ohio. Kilcare Dragway in Ohio. Lions Raceway Park in Indiana. The Mid-Michigan Motorplex up in Stanton, Michigan. Muncie Dragway in, well, hey, Muncie. National Trail Raceway over in Hebron, Ohio. Ohio Valley Dragway down in Louisville. Lucas Oil Raceway in Indianapolis. Pacemakers Dragway Park in Mount Vernon, Route 66 Raceway in Joliet, St. Thomas Raceway Park up in London, Ontario, Canada, Summit Racing Equipment Motorsports Park in Norwalk, and Tri-State Dragway in Hamilton, Ohio. They make all of the racing operations for you. How about a round of applause for all of our tracks and all the work that they do each year. In honor of those tracks, we do have some special awards we'd like to give out. First is in recognition of outstanding participation in recruiting and encouraging NHRA membership among its racing community through the National Dragster Be a Wetter, Be a Member program. This year's award for having the most winning NHRA members at their NHRA Summit Racing Series events during the 2015 season. Congratulations goes out to Coles County Dragway and their track operator, Rod Velen. Rod's not with us this evening, but a round of applause for Coles County, if you would, please. For all of our racers that compete in, in the bracket racing in the Summit Series at their local tracks, there's another award that will be given out tonight in behalf of uh, conscientious news gathering and reporting to National Dragster. The National Dragster Contributor of the Year Award goes out to Crossroads Dragway this year and Pam Lobb for outstanding performance in race news photography and reporting for all of her racers at Crossroads Dragway. Pam? I'd like to thank National Dragster for the award. 
Crossroads Dragway, Randy, Tammy, Nisa, and Zach, all the racers make this possible, and my husband for the support and being there for me. And thank God, thank you. Continuing on with some of our track recognition awards, the North Central Division Track of the Year as voted on by you, the racers, spectators, and participants here in Division Three, In the NHRA Summit Racing Series host tracks, the three final tracks in the voting for Division Track of the Year, Kilcare Dragway, Muncie Dragway, and Crossroads Dragway. And the winner this year in the NHRA Summit Racing Series host track award, about a round of applause for Crossroads Dragway out of Terre Haute, Indiana. <laughs> Dr. Peters, I can't believe they uh, let me take the microphone for a minute. Yeah. It's kind of bad at our uh, banquet, if you will, because when I get a hold of the microphone, I stay there a while. So, Jay, I won't be here very long, I promise. I just, wow, seven years. We've been at the track. It's hard to believe, but this is a pretty special award. Pretty special award. So, thanks to all the the racers that come out and support us. It's been a great year. We look forward to a, a better year in 2016. It's exciting, I'll tell you. Uh, racers make it uh, fun for track operators. Uh, oh, we really do enjoy it. <laughs> hey, we do. We do enjoy every racer that comes out and and. and has fun at the track, and we try to put on a good show for the spectators and everybody that comes out as well. So thanks, everybody. Thank you. Our North Central Division Track of the Year in the Mellow Yellow and Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, the final three tracks in the vote tabulation. Beach Bend Raceway Park in Bowling Green, Lucas Oil Raceway here in Indianapolis, and in Norwalk, Ohio, it was Summit Motorsports Park. Ladies and gentlemen, your North Central Division Track of the Year in the Mellow Yellow and Lucas Oil Series, Summit Motorsports Park. <laughs> Understand, Nettie? Yeah, Nettie Dameron's going to come up and receive their award for on behalf of the Bill Bader family and all my teammates at Summit Motorsports Park, we thank you for this honor. We, uh, we work very hard. Um, we love what we're doing, and we thank you for this honor. Thank you. Drax put in a lot of work. Your support helps make it what it is. And for Summit and for uh, Crossroads, you can hear their appreciation and their thanks. Going to move on now to our Junior Drag Racing League. I was around English Town, New Jersey, 23 years ago when they brought out the first ever Junior Dragster. And I looked at it and I thought, wow, where was that when I was a kid? And I still think that. Where was that when I was a kid? The Junior Drag Racing League, the explosion and the interest and the involvement, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And, and to look at the racers that have come out of it over the years and moved on into the big boy and big girl ranks, if you will, is, is pretty special. At this time, we'd like to invite the Division Three Junior Drag Racing champions, Landon Hall, Skyler B., and Ashley Cole, if they would, please to come to the stage. The 2015 North Central Division NHRA Junior Dragster Race of Champions were special races as part of the Division Three Junior Championships held at Crossroads Dragway. Track champions or top points representatives from member tracks participated in three distinct age groups. Landon Hall topped the six to nine year old age group representing the team from Mid-Michigan Motorplex, taking home the, the Gold Eagle Trophy. Our six to nine year old Race of Champions winner, Landon Hall.
First, I'd like to thank NHRA for giving us a safe place to race. I would also like to thank my mom and dad for making this possible, my grandma and grandpa for supporting me, Craig Blossom for giving us a comp competitive engine, and my sponsors, Premier Finishes and Sierra Tree Landscaping. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, Mike, can we put this thing on hydraulics for next year? <laughs> um, Skyler B. representing Muncie Dragway is this year's 10 to 12 year old Race of Champions winner. Skyler received an Eagle, will receive her Eagle Trophy and a Race of Champions jacket. Congratulations to our 10 to 12 year old Race of Champion, Skyler B. Skyler? Thank you. First off, I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity. I would also like to thank my friends and fellow junior drag racers at my home track. They're like my second family. I want to thank my dad for being the best crew chief ever. He never works on the car without me. He has taught me a lot. I also want to thank my mom for always being there for me. She rarely ever misses a race. I had an awesome season this year. I won my first Wally, my first Eagle. I runnered up in the divisional, divisional championship race, and I won the major points championship at Muncie Dragway. I don't have any sponsors to thank other than my mom and dad. But if anyone out there is looking for a junior dragster to sponsor, <laughs> see me later. Hopefully one day I will be able to do this for a living. But either way, racing is in my blood, and I'm a racer for life. Yeah, if anybody out there's got any spare money, he's, Skyler's ready. Ashley Cole was racing for Crossroads Dragway and captured the 13 to 17 year old age class. As the junior drag racing race of champions winner, Jordan will receive one of the Eagle trophies tonight. She also gets her race of champions jacket. Congratulations to Ashley Cole, our 13 to 17 year old champion. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank God, and then I would also like to thank my parents for giving me the opportunity to race. Um, I would also like to thank all of my other family that come out and support me all the time. Um, I would like to thank Cole's Town and Country Towing, um, to a T-Screen Printing, and Knox Septic for sponsoring me over the season. And I would also like to thank Crossroads for letting me um, represent them in this race. Thank you. In 2015, NHRA, as I said, celebrated 23 years of junior drag racing. Two major conference championship events were conducted in the NHRA Junior Drag Racing League with the Eastern Conference Championship held this last July in both Bristol Dragway. There were over 500 junior dragster competitors at the event with three of the eight age group champions coming from the North Central Division. We congratulate the 11-year-old NHRA Summit Junior Drag Racing League Eastern Conference champion, Macy Stewart. Understand Macy's not with us this evening, but Macy, out of Virginia, West Virginia, was one of two National Trail Raceway team members that helped capture the team championship in a most dominating fashion. Macy took a reaction time advantage along with running pretty much dead on the dial for her final round win. She'll receive her conference championship Wally, her jacket, and her junior gold card for her win. Now, please welcome to the stage our 14-year-old NHRA Summit Junior Drag Racing League Eastern Conference Champion, Ethan Rodasel. Ethan? <laughs> Ethan's out of Hamilton, Ohio, and was the second winner for Team National Trail Raceway this year. He, too, had a better reaction time when was closer to his dial in his final round win. He receives a conference championship Wally, a jacket, and a junior, jo junior gold card. Ethan? Uh, 
Uh, first off, I'd like to thank my dad, my mom, my grandpa, my grandma, uh, National Trail Raceway, and the Surwell family. I had a great year of racing, multiple event wins, and two different cars. The ECF win was clearly my biggest win to date. Uh, interestingly, my dad and grandma and grandpa purchased the car, and I won ECF one month before the event. Um, so we really did not have many runs on the new car before Bristol. There was certainly some luck along the way. Our national trail team also won the team championship with ECF wins by Macy Stewart and myself. Congratulations to all the other winners here tonight, and I cannot wait for the 2016 to start. Thank you. Moving on, our 16 to 17 year old NHRA Summit Junior Drag Racing League Eastern Conference ja champion was Jackson Massimore. Jackson? Jackson Hales from Hanson, Kentucky, was part of the Beacon Dragway team. And in the final round, he had the better numbers and a double breakout. But you all have never had a double breakout win in your life, huh? He receives a conference championship wally, a jacket, and his junior gold card. Ladies and gentlemen, your 16 to 17 year old Summit Junior Drag Racing League Eastern Conference champion, Jackson Messimore. Jackson? Uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank my uh, mom and dad for everything they do for me. I'd like to thank my grandparents and the rest of my family. I'd like to thank uh, Kate's Auto Parts and Airbrush Incorporated. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. It's now my pleasure to introduce the 2015 NHRA North Central Division Junior Champions. The two-day event was again held at Crossroads Dragway and was attended by nearly 200 racers from eight different states representing 20 different NHRA member tracks. Blaine Basil, if you would please, make your way to the stage. Blaine was a member of the Pacemakers Dragway Park team and added this year's Division Junior Championship to his growing resume of accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, your 69-year-old division champ, Blaine Basil. <laughs> Good evening. This season has truly been amazing from start to finish. I am so excited to stand up here as the 2015 NHRA division champion. My dad and I set goals at the beginning of the year and after finishing second last year, the, the division championship is on the top of the list. There are so many people I need to thank for making this year possible. I would first like to thank God for all of his blessings, my dad for always pushing me to be the best, and my mom for all of her love and support. Without them, none of this would be possible. I would also like to thank my sister, Sarah, and my brother, Brandon, for all of their help throughout the year. Jacob Elrod. Sorry, I lost my spot. <laughs> for being my inspiration, Mike Cottle for help on the car, and all my friends and fam family who have supported me this year. I would also like to thank my sponsors, Mark and Travis at American Race Cars for the baddest race car on the planet, <laughs> Jim Curtis at Magic Customs, Basil Oil Company, because why not, and Sunoco Race Thank you, everyone. Y'all better watch out. He's going to be chasing you pretty quick. <laughs> Kayla Burns, if you'd please make your way to the stage. <laughs> Caleb won the 10 to 12-year-old division championship with a great 001 light in the final. 
and he too was a member of the National Trail Raceway team this year. Ladies and gentlemen, your division champion in the 10 to 12 year old range, Caleb Burns. Caleb? Um, first, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for giving me the opportunity to race and being my pit crew. Uh, also, I'd like to thank my grandma and grandpa for introducing me into, for introducing me to racing and supporting me at every race. I'd like to thank Mike Boss and Sons for making my, race, my amazing race car. And thank you to Fred Crawl and crew for building my incredibly in consistent motor. I would also like to thank my sponsor, Mike Crockle at Fredericktown Marathon, Andy Mead with Mead Construction, Fredericktown Napa, Randy Kaywood at Kaywood Insurance, Steve Wright with Job's Insurance. And finally, I had a great 2015 season. I'd like to make 2016 even better. Thank you. And now, if we could, Ryan Ernest. Ryan Ernest, if you could make your way up to the stage, please. Ryan's out of Franklin, Tennessee, and was representing Beach Bend Raceway Park and topped the field in the largest of the three classes. Your 13 to 17 year old division champion, young Ryan Ernest. Ryan? Uh, first, I just like to thank my parents. They always help me with everything. My dad for running me every weekend. Uh, my uncle who got me into it, he got me addicted at an early age. Um, Steve Waller for building the best motors out there and Beach Bend Raceway for letting me race to their track. Thank you. Congratulations to all of our NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Junior Drag Racing League champions, our stars of tomorrow. Right now, though, I'd like to have Jay step back up to the podium. Jay? Thank you, Bob. At this time, it uh, gives me great pleasure to recognize the group of people that are largely responsible for the success of the North Central Division. That is our division certification team. By far and away, in, in my opinion, and I think shared by many, they're probably the best certification team in the country. We're very proud of them. I'd like the team to stand, if you would, please. We're not going to rattle off all the names because we've got a pretty good-sized crew, but it uh, takes a team effort. We've got a great group of guys and gals. If the entire certification team would please stand, please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Their combined experience... Uh, we calculated up is over 700 years. Half of those are red man's. <laughs> Rich Bowers, if you would uh, join me on stage. And I'd also like to invite Glenn Gray, our Vice President of Technical Operations, as well as our Senior Certification Team members, Bill Floyd and Travis Miller. Earlier today at the annual Division III Tech and Safety Seminar held down at the PRI show, it was my pleasure to present Rich as the final honoree of the Don Pinky Cobbs Memorial Award. The award was presented in recognition of Rich's dedication to Division III drag racing. As part of the award each year, Dorothy Cobbs has made a $150 donation to draw in the recipient's name. Back at the U.S. Nationals, of course, Rich announced that he would be retiring at the end of the year. And I haven't been able to talk him out of it. Fortunately, Rich plans to continue to be a part of our certification team where he actually started with the division in 1989. Then in November of 95, he came on full time as an integral part of the Division Three team. And for the past 20 years, it has been a real pleasure working day in and day out and race in and race out, for me anyhow, for Rich Bowers. At this time, we'd like to present a special award. Rich, 
in recognition for your years of service and dedication to the North Central Division and the sport of the NHRA drag racing, please accept this award. I gotta let you say we got some, we got some more stuff. We got some more stuff. Glenn, you have a special presentation. On behalf of all of NHRA, uh, we would like to thank uh, Rich for his 20 years of dedicated service to NHRA drag racing, um, and and want to congratulate you on your retirement. I understand. It won't be a complete retirement. We will be seeing Rich at some uh, key events next year, so that, that's good to know. But uh, I'd like to present him with his 20-year pin. That's a pretty big accomplishment. Red Man, are you the spokesperson? We don't know yet. The, the pair of you. Okay. We're going to tag team. Yeah. Red Man. We've been around for quite a while. Yes, We've we retired. How many of these guys? <laughs> Four. Four of them. Four. Yeah. And we're working on our third director. <laughs> and we're still here. Yep. Us two. So, okay. Rich, Rich, this is from the team. this is from the uh, from the certification team. Okay. And congratulations. Is it open? Left there. We were going to try to get a dancing girl, but we have children here. <laughs> yes. Well, you might as well. Okay. I didn't know if we were going to go through the whole spiel. Okay. Here's the uh, Menard's uh, gift card since I'm, uh, I do some minor woodworking, so that will work out great. <laughs> Uh, 20 years, uh, sure doesn't seem like 20 years. Uh, I think Jay and I get along pretty well. I don't think we ever really had an argument, have we, Jay? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, just like Jay said, I sure appreciate the uh, certification team. They made my job very easy to show up at a race, and uh, they knew what to do and how to get things done and along that line. I don't know. Did you have a photo of my front engine dragster? Did it, was it up there? Okay, well, if you notice that front engine dragster back in the late 70s, no one fit in those front engine dragsters. They, they looked unsafe, and, and to this day, I cringe every time I see a photo of myself in a front engine dragster when your helmet's outside. So, I uh, appreciate this very much. Uh, I'll thank my wife, Deb. She says that uh, from day one that I started working full time, that I really don't go to work, that I just I go play all the time at the racetrack. So. Appreciate that. So, thank you so much. We'd like to uh, recognize our champions of the Jake Super Quick Series. The eight race 2015 NHRA Super Quick Series had eight different winners and another dra dramatic down to the wire run for the championship. Rich, if you would come back and help in the uh, presentation of our, you're not retired yet, okay? <laughs> A special feature within the series is the quick fuel technology shootout. The year-end race features the season's top eight qualifiers based on points. Our congratulations to shootout winner, Jeremiah Hall. Finishing fifth through second, we'd like to recognize our top five finishers. All were in contention for the championship going into that season final at Lucas Oil Raceway at Indianapolis. Our number five finisher, we'd like to recognize Mitchell Carter out of Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, Carter's best showing was a runner-up finish at Lions Raceway Park, just an example of how close the competition was throughout the year. Jeremiah Hall, who won the quick fuel shootout, wound up finishing fourth in the championship chase. He's out of Evansville, Indiana. Hall lasted the longest 
in the battle as the stars had lined up as other four contenders fell to the wayside. Hall, who needed to win the event, lost by four thousandths of a second in the semifinal round to eventual first-time event winner, Corey Mong. Our number three finisher in the series this year was Jeremy York out of Muncie, Indiana. Jeremy was the 2012 Jake Super Quick Series champion. He picked up his fifth series win at the Spring Lucas Oil Raceway at Indianapolis event, moving him to a tie for fourth on the all-time series win list. And our number two finisher in the series this year was Dean Carnes. Disco Dean had a uh, late season win at Beacon Dragway to move into fourth in points heading into the season final at Indy. His bid for the championship came to the end just three rounds short of the points needed for the title, but nonetheless a great runner-up finish for the Fairborn Ohio racer. And now your 2015 NHRA Jake Super Quick Champion, Bob Nichols. <laughs> Bob out of Charlestown, Indiana. While he may not have won the battle during the season, didn't win a single series race, he won the war, the championship. A testament of how close the competition was in Jake Superquick. He scored two runner-up finishes on the same night as we rained out a delayed event at Muncie Dragway, finishing it up at Kill Care, the next series event. Bob receives his championship Wally, along with his Jake's champion's jacket, and NHRA Superquick gold card, along with $2,000, your champion, Bob Nichols. What an interesting year. Uh, it sure wasn't what I expected. It, it's so different. When I get to the racetrack, I feel like I'm in fellowship with so many just remarkable people. And, and I saw a thing out on one of the, the uh, internet chat forums. It said, I'm a drag racer. I make poor choices, but have awesome experiences. <laughs> and that's what happens. Um, it can be something as small as having a friend fly in when I was in uh, St. Louis. And he flew up because he had a business meeting in Indianapolis, couldn't get there, stopped in St. Louis. He showed up four hours after I called him from Dallas. Who's going to do that? That's what racers do for each other. Um, I've gotten help from some special people. Steve Carter has been a great help to me. My wife has been fabulous. Um, I've gotten to meet so many cool people. Uh, Jeff and Patty Taylor, um, the Dudley family, um, the Wigginses. Um, it just goes on and on. And, and I feel very privileged and honored to represent uh, everyone involved in this series and look forward to next year. Thank you so much. This time, we'd like to uh, please welcome back Glenn Gray. I wanted to ask the CERT team while they were up here, did we tech this wing in? This thing's pretty cool. I like this thing. Um, on uh, The first thing I'd like to say, it's an honor to be here tonight. I have uh, uh, missed the last two uh, Division Three banquets, and uh, I'm really happy to be back here. Um, tonight is all about the 2015 North Central Division champions, and we're excited to be here celebrating your performances this year. Uh, this year marks the 14th year of the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, the 15th year of the Summit Drag Racing Series, and the second year of the NHRA Summit Junior Drag Racing League. Uh, we want to thank Lucas Oil, Summit, and each of our division sponsors uh, for their support of Sportsman Racing and NHRA. Uh, let's give them all a round of applause right now. And of course, we couldn't do any of this without our strong member track network throughout the North Central Division. Each track shares in our passion, invests in the sport, preserves the right to race, and provides a place for champions to be made. Uh, would I, I would also like to acknowledge the division office, and Jay and his team, the certification team, for all their efforts that they put into the sport week in and week out. Uh, now for you racers, uh, we deeply appreciate your participation and the participation of your fellow racers throughout the year across the North Central Division. We know how hard it is 
and the skill that's required to accomplish the achievements that you have been, are being recognized for here tonight. Uh, NHRA brings together the best racers in the world, the best drag racing competition in the world, and the best facilities in the world. Uh, if you made it here tonight, um, you're right here at the top. Um, so please give a round of applause to our champions tonight, and congratulations to each of you on a great season, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. It's just getting started. Thanks. Again, on behalf of NHRA, I would uh, like to thank Joan for her uh, 15 years of dedicated service to NHRA drag racing. And uh, I think an even bigger accomplishment is that you could put up with Jay for 15 years. So um, that's pretty amazing. Thank so you. I've only had to do it for seven. So, um, but anyway, I'd like to, to congratulate you. you and give that to you on NHRA's behalf. Thank, and thank you. you. Thank you. For the introduction of our next group, champions, please welcome Dennis Weininger, the director of NHRA's Track Announcers Guild. Thanks, Jay. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to stand on everything. Get one of those boosters. Okay. As we, uh, as we take a look at uh, all the winners tonight, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and hope you have the best of a 2016 season. We look back on our Summit uh, Racing Series Division Finals. It's a very unique event. A total of 640 participants took part in this year's 39th annual event. We thank the track operators and volunteers, Lucas Oil Raceway crew, and participants whose collective efforts made this year's event without question one of the best ever. And our thanks, of course, to Summit Racing Equipment. The event highlights included two first-time division champions and two second-time division champions. For the Super Pro Wild Card, we sent five racers to Pomona for the first time for the national championships. Three happened to be from Summit Motorsports Park. Almost $70,000 was passed out during our three days to 251 racers in the race and many bonus racers and door prizes, including the Sunoco Race of Champions, Summit Shootouts, Dialing for Dollars, High School Championships, Best Appearing Awards, and Team Championship bonuses. A very special weekend. One of the event highlights was the Sunoco Race of Champions, and we would like to acknowledge this year's Champions of Champions. There they are. And Super Pro, Chris Bear from Summit Motorsports Park, who was the wild card winner and he advanced on to Pomona as the super pro champion from the race of champions. And at Pomona, he was runner up on that Sunday afternoon. In pro ET, Chris Stevenson from Lucas Oil Raceway, super pro bike, Jonathan Vickers from Byron Dragway, and the sportsman winner, Bill McCarty from Lions Raceway Park. Our thanks to Sunoco Race Fields for their sponsorship of this exciting race. The color, fun, and excitement of the NHRA Summit Racing Series ET Finals can best be exemplified by the next two awards. The 2015 National Dragster Team Spirit Award is judged on that uh, Saturday afternoon when we have first round of competition at Lucas Oil Raceway. And the winner of the 2015 National Dragster Team Spirit Award is Byron Dragway. For their team spirit around, Bob the Builder. And accepting tonight is uh, Chelsea Bangness of Byron Dragway. All right. I just want to say thank you to everybody at uh, the Division Three uh, Bracket Finals. This award means a lot to my family and all of our racers back at Byron Dragway, as most of our racers are pretty much our, our second family. Um, I could also say that we might have had a little too much fun with Team Spirit this year as we finished in, what was it, Jay? 12th place. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, it means a lot to us, and uh, on behalf of Byron Drago, I just want to say thank you, and hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, thank you. Thank you. 
Thanks, Chelsea. Along with the individual competition, an overall team champion was determined. One point was awarded for each round one. Six different tracks had the lead in the points during that uh, course of the eliminations on Saturday and Sunday. Each of the 32 winning team members received $200, and each runner-up team member was awarded $100. Our congratulations to Crossroads Dragway for the team's runner-up finish, and that was their best team finish so far. And claiming their third championship was Summit Motorsports Park with 46 points during elimination. So congratulations to Summit Motorsports Park. And Ned, if you'd like to come up, we've got something special up here once again. wasn't able to participate um, at the bracket finals this year as we had a, uh, an event back at the track, but my teammate Sam, he got to go as our team captain this year. Well, first of all, I want to thank Jay for, and his team. Um, thank Bill Bader for asking me to go and for our racers that literally we had fun and we kicked a lot of butt. We took three guys to Pomona. We had three guys in the finals, and we brought one home as a world champion, Nick, and it was a blast. Thank you. But just remember, if somebody says, would you like to be the team champion? They get to talk up here. Keep that in mind. Let's move on to um, our high school champion, and that would be Kay Crum. Kay, if you could come this way. <laughs> Kay is from Jamestown, uh, Ohio, for the North Central Division High School Championship. Two high school students qualify from each of the participating member tracks, with Kay representing Kilcare Dragway in her 1989 Ford Ranger pickup truck. Had a chance to talk with Kay on um, D3 TV after it was all over. I said, wow, this must be cool driving the truck. You just like drive it all the time? She said, no, not really. New truck for it. And she did very well. OK, first and foremost, I would like to thank the Browders for letting me use their truck. Second of all, I would like to thank my family, especially my dad, for making this possible. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been there. Um, we did have a few problems during the finals. Thank you to those who made it possible for me to get down the track and get the win. Um, thank you to everyone who was there to support me, and thank you to Kilcare for letting me run for their track. Thanks, guys. And we'll move on now to our 2015 NHRA Summit Racing Series North Central Division Sportsman Champion, and that would be Nick Hastings. Nick, come on up. Nick is from Shelby, Ohio, and Summit Motorsports Park, a former junior champion. This is Nick's second division sportsman ET title with his 83 Mustang. Had a great um, 10,000th reaction time to help seal the deal for Summit Motorsports Park. And Nick made the most of his second trip to Pomona with a sportsman ET national championship. His road to victory included a round one opponent who broke out, a round two opponent who went red, and in the final his opponent went red also. They were afraid of him. I knew it. I just knew it. It was a tough race, uh, as we talked about during the, uh, the D3 uh, TV interview. And, and as Nick talks tonight, you know, as I, as I rewatched that, his voice, inflections, and, and all that reminded me of a, a pro category racer. See if you can pick it out. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate the opportunity. While it's an honor and a privilege, to stand among all of you tonight. It would not be possible without the opportunity provided by many great people. The National Hot Rod Association and widespread staff, whom truly do treat the sportsman racer special, in conjunction with Summit Racing Equipment, Lucas Oil, and Jags. I think that it's safe to say that giving back to the sport, continuing to, and uh, it's the sportsman racers specifically, and uh, we're all grateful for it. And so uh, it does mean a lot. Thank you to Jay Hollinger 
and all the Division Three staff for all their hard work. Along with fellow competitors, I can honestly say I'm proud to represent Division Three, the land of the winners. I'd like to thank American Race, America's Racetrack, Summit Motorsports Park. It's brought to you by the hardworking Bill Bader Jr., Nettie, our team captain Sam, the man, Lance, and our ever resilient staff, our cheerleaders, Samantha, Katie, and Courtney, Kurt Johnson for all of your support, Kellerman Collision and Restoration, In Motion Solutions, BTE, Mickey Thompson, and Nationwide Auto Works as well. Special thanks to my friends, my crew chief, my right hand man, and my bodyguard, Andrew. My, uh, my buddy, James, my grandparents, John and Joanne, my parents, Doug and Melissa, and uh, I can't tell you how much all your support and love has meant to me. Uh, you're my wolf pack, and uh, I truly thank you for standing behind me all the way through. Thank you for all your support and for the opportunity, all of you, and congrats to all our fellow champions tonight. Appreciate the opportunity. Well, the pro racer I had in mind as I watched the interview that we did that same afternoon was, uh, oh, yeah, Jack Beckman. Now, th maybe this was Jack Beckman during a, the award ceremony. I don't know. Take a look at it on D3TV and see if you agree. And if not, you're wrong. <laughs> Moving on to um, our pro ET champion, that would be Chuck Lewis. Chuck, come on up. Chuck is from Adrian, Michigan, a mile in dragway. My buddy back home, Jerome, would love to see that car. Because he's a Mopar guy. He had a 70 Duster four-speed car. Chuck laid down a great uh, 009 reaction time in the final round and was 009 over his 583 dial to take the win and a trip to Pomona with his 1970 Duster. Out there, he was the number one qualifier, but he lost in round one. This is your 2015 NHRA Summit Racing Series Pro ET Division Champion, Chuck Lewis. Congratulations, Chuck. Thank you. Well, I certainly uh, don't do this alone. Um, my crew and my family are over here at Table 18. <laughs> and uh, uh, my dad, uh, Lanny, my stepmother, Darlene, my wife, Rochelle, and my son, Joshua, they, uh, they help me out a lot. So. Um, if it wasn't for them, it would be very difficult to do what I do. So um, we, have, we have a bunch of sponsors on the car. Uh, I'm going to run down through them real quick for you. Brakes and More, Post Towing, Martin's Home Center, Basil Boys, Restaurant, The Look, Hair Salon, Shemit Chiropractic, O'Hara Chrysler, Dodge Jeep, Napa Racing, Auto Parts, and Dave Parquet Race Cars. Um, a lot of these guys have been with us since the beginning, and uh, it helps out a lot allows us to do what we do. Um, it's really been a dream come true. Been a dream come true uh, uh, winning the Division Three uh, championship. I've been trying for a long time, and uh, uh, we finally got it done. So uh, thank you. Chuck Toby has been in the finals 10 times. And sometimes, you know, you've been here nine times, 10. Oh, I win. Hey. That's good. Uh, our next category involves, um, oh, let's see, Super Pro Motorcycles. And that would be uh, Rick Poole. I don't think Rick is here tonight, right? No, OK. Sam's coming up. Hey, Sam, come on back up. You did so well. Rick Poole is Frank, uh, from uh, New Franklin, Ohio, and Summit Motorsports Park. Like teammate. Nick Hastings, this is Rick's second division crown in a Super Pro Motorcycle. Following Hastings' sportsman win, Rick put a little icing on the cake for the team Summit Sports Motorsports Park. That's really hard to say. I was going to change this around, and I know Jay would be upset. Take out that stuff. His second trip to Pomona resulted in a win in round number one, a win in round two with a great reaction time, and a runner-up in the final when he had the reaction time advantage but broke out a runner-up at Pomona this year with his second trip is still pretty darn good. 
Uh, he had a Suzuki, and he said that uh, he picked the Suzuki because of uh, oh, that guy, Terry Vance, when he was riding Suzukis back then. So accepting for Rick is Sam Lance. Sam? Well, as he said, Rick's not here today. Um, it's an honor to accept this for Rick. He's a really nice guy. And I would like to thank Summit Motorsports Park. I'd like to thank Summit Racing Series, Jay, your crew, and um, the Bader family for letting him race there. And I'm reading a script that I didn't even write. Just to let you know, okay. It's a good script. And for all of the racers out there in the competition, thank you. Don't forget the moms and the wives. That's this rule. Uh, let's get Bill Leahy up there from Columbus, Ohio. Bill? Bill comes up from the right side of the room. You can look out this way. Our North Central Division Super Pro Champion from Columbus, Ohio, Pacemakers Dragway Park. Uh, Bill scored his biggest career win as he defeated fellow Ohio racer Bill Webb in the eighth round of racing with a 488 at 147. Rather than making the tow to Pomona, Bill arranged for renting a similar dragster but unfortunately went out in the opening round. Nonetheless, he did earn his first flight wings and had the experience of a lifetime. He told me after his win in uh, Indianapolis that the car was perfect and the driver wasn't too bad either. So uh, say hello and congratulations to Bill Leahy, your super pro champion of 2015. Well, uh, before I get started, I can't believe somebody left this for me to say. Uh, everybody, you all look great tonight. I've never seen anybody look like this at the racetrack, so it's pretty special. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, Jay and the Division Three team for uh, putting, putting this event together and hosting it in Indianapolis. I'd like to thank Summit, Motors, Summit Racing Equipment for sponsoring this and uh, letting me take my uh, wife back to her birth state of California on their dime. That was Pretty special. I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to pull that off. Never imagined that racing would pay for it. I want to thank uh, Rod Zolman, Lori Zolman, their daughters Taylor, Sutton, and Sydney for uh, all the effort they put in keeping Pacemakers Dragway Park open. It's uh, kind of becoming a little track that could. It's always been flirting with uh, whether it's going to survive or not, and they've been keeping it going for the last two years, and looks like they'll be keeping it going again in 2016. Uh, I need to thank Russ Farmer and Rod Corder at Race Tech Race Cars for uh, all their support, giving me a great car. Like I joke with them, it's a car that's winning and it wasn't even built in this century. The, uh, I need to thank uh, Mark Cook at Bad Man Racing Engines for an engine that uh, I've been running his motor since 2008 and haven't had a single failure out of him. And uh, Bill Webb, my uh, final round opponent in Indianapolis for uh, building my transmissions. Uh, lastly, I need to thank my wife, Judy, uh, for over 32 years now, she's been putting up with this nonsense. Uh, she could have a lot nicer house, and you know, she puts up with uh, doing without a lot of things just to let me chase my dream. So uh, thank you very much. I love you, baby. Thank you. And now in the script it says, then it steps away and doesn't take any of Jay's papers. Have a great 2016. <laughs> Certainly want to thank all of those uh, participants of the 39th annual 2015 NHRA Summit Racing Series. It was a huge success. Our special thanks go out to Summit Racing Equipment for the support of this great program. And of course, next year is our 40th. We're looking to uh, do a lot of great, uh, great fun things at the event, this 40th celebration in 2016. At this time, we'd like to present the North Central Division ET Driver of the Year Award 
as voted online on division's website. The EP Bracket Driver of the Year finalists for the voting were Chad Eaton, a pro and sportsman point champion at Crossroads Dragway, Nick Hastings from Summit Racing Series National, he was the Summit Racing Series National and Divisional Champion from Summit Motorsports Park, and Bill Leahy, the Division Three Super Pro Champion for Pacemakers Dragway. And the vote for the 2015 ET Driver of the Year, Nick Hastings. <laughs> I wish I knew what else to say. Um, while it's rather humbling, I certainly do appreciate it. Um, it's a special award, something that was brought to my attention actually uh, just a couple weeks back. So um, it definitely means a lot to me. And uh, thanks again. Appreciate it, guys. This time, Bob, if you would uh, come back up to the podium for our next group of awards. How about our uh, spiffy uh, podium here? You know, in, in typical Spitzer race cars fashion, he introduced there, we built it last year. I don't know that too many, too many people have built podiums or whatever, but Mike wasn't satisfied with the spill plates. So he took it back and redid spill plates on the side. And he's already talking back there that, you know, I need to do this, I need to do that to it. But this carbon fiber wing podium is absolutely cool. Thank you, Mike. It is. I've done a lot of banquets, and been a lot behind a lot of podiums. This is one of the neatest ones we've ever had anywhere. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. As we get into some more of our awards and presentations this evening, we're going to move on and, and acknowledge our JEGS racers this year for the JEGS All-Stars event. Also want to put out a special thanks to JEGS for their sponsorship in the eight-race JEGS Super Quick Series. Uh, the Coughlin family and JEGS High Performance for their continued sponsorship. Looking forward to season number 28 next year. And by the way, congratulations to Troy for his second straight NHRA JNA service Pro Mod Drag Racing Championship and to Troy Coughlin Jr., who was named the Series Rookie of the Year this year. Big, big goings on for some of our D3 racers. The JEGS All-Star event held this year in uh, Joliet, Illinois, as it is every year. Uh, part of the O'Reilly Auto Parts Route 66 Nationals brings together the best of the best, if you will. The, the all-star race is uh, contested, as you all know, on Saturday. And uh, the best of the top representatives from each of the seven divisions, along with the blocker, compete for the overall championship and the overall team championship, which Division Three here has been known to take a time or two in its past. Uh, over $100,000 cash purse, tow money, and bonus awards would like to recognize the 2015 JEGS All-Star Division III team this year. In top alcohol dragster, there was Marty Thacker and Jared Dreher. In top alcohol funny car, Andy Bowl and Chris Foster. Competition eliminator with David Bellingsley. Rena Splingera in super stock. Steve DeZorni in stock. Ray Conley in super comp. Luke Bogacki in super gas, who, by the way, took home the Wally at the JEGS All-Star race. Scotty Reinschild, our winner in Super Street at the JEGS All-Star event as well. In top dragster, Chris Carrico. Top sportsman was Lester Johnson. Competition eliminator, we had a blocker in, Greg Campaign. And in top sportsman, Jerry Albert was in as a blocker. Points for the 2016 JEGS All-Star team. You all know, you've already been contested for it. Started at Route 66 last year. We'll conclude with the NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series event at Norwalk this coming May, and I know there are a lot of you out there that would love to compete at the JEGS All-Star Race. But how about a round of applause for our 2015 <laughs> JEGS All-Star Team? In the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series chase, the six, race, six races within the division that are highly contested, and I got to tell you, after uh, being at Bowling Green in St. Louis this year and, and watching the way you all chase after each other, go after each other on race day. I mean, I realize we're all one great big family, 
but when the helmet's on, there are no friends. And um, you guys exemplify that pretty well. It's some stiff, stiff competition. And I'm looking forward to being a part of it in 2016. In competition eliminator in the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series Tour this year, our third place finisher was Robert Bailey. Bob and Judy made a late season charge with their Econo Dragster, scoring a win at Gateway at St. Louis, and a runner-up finish at Beach Bend Raceway Park. Let's see, I was at Gateway, I was at Beach Bob and Judy may like having me around next year. <laughs> they did good at the last two races. In Superstock, our third place finisher was Brad Zaskowski out of Michigan. Brad picked up out of division win at Topeka, a runner-up at Route 66 Raceway, and finished third in the division. He was in the hunt for the national championship in Superstock and ended up finishing third. Stock eliminator in our Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series this year, our third place finisher was Tom Pettigrew. Out of Tennessee, Tom drove a 77 Firebird to a win at the Gateway Motorsports Park Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series event, along with a few other late round finishes. Good for his third place finish in the points. In Super Comp, Justin Mosier, driving one of those fleet of Mosier race cars out of the Mosier Engineering Shop, had a runner-up finish, finish at Beach Bend, and a few other late round finishes as well. In Super Gas, legendary named Edmund Richardson finished third in the division this year. Jumped into the Super Gas mix-up with a runner-up showing at National Trail Raceway, but failed to improve during the season, leaving him with only his 48 national event wins, five national championships, and 16 division championships. It's a heck of a deal, huh? Super Street, our third place finisher was Bob Schmidt out of Grove City, Ohio. Bob scored his Super Street win at Gateway Motorsports Park. In the NHRA, Brodix, Steve Schmidt, top racing series, top sportsman drag racing series. Third place finish went to Jerry Albert with 303 points. Jerry's bid for his third straight Brodix, Steve Schmidt, top sportsman title, fell a little short this year. However, he did garner a win at National Trail and several late round finishes as well. NHRA, Spitzer Race Car, top dragster series. Third place went to Mike Trout out of Alexandria, Kentucky. Mike picked up wins at National Trail and Bristol, along with his Instant Karma Race, along with his Instant Karma Racing team, it was only one point short of a tie for second place. Congratulations and a round of applause, if you would, for all of our Lucas Oil third place finishers. The fourth annual Moser Sportsman Shootout was held as part of the JEGS Northern Sports Nationals at National Trail Raceway. The top two points earners in Super Stock, Stock, Super Gas, Super Street, Top Dragster, Top Sportsman, along with the two lottery picks competed head-to-head -head in a unique eighth mile race. At a $15,000 purse, a really cool trophy, and you have the makings of a very good, very competitive race. The final round pitted the Super Street Corvette of Scotty Reinshield against the Top Dragster, Marco Abruzzi. It was a great race with Scotty ending up taking home the Mosier Engineering Sportsman Shootout Trophy and $5,000. Congratulations to Scotty for your Moser Shootout, Sportsman Shootout win, if you will. <laughs> Our Comp Eliminator racers here in the North Central Division enjoy a bonus program throughout the year that's administered by Brian and Deb Brown. Along with the event bonuses, racers qualify for the Spitzer Race Cars Indy Gear Comp Shootout held at Beach Bend Raceway Park. Our congratulations goes out to Robert Bailey, who topped the field of Steve Ambrose, Greg Campaign, and Tom France. And if you would, please, we'd like to have you stand. Bob Book, I understand you're here as well. If you would, a round of applause for our Comp Bonus Award race winner this year. Telling you, I feel like a gremlin up here. Bright light, bright light. Can't see anything out there. You guys are. Anyway, moving on. A special bonus also recognizes the season top qualifier based on points earned at all six of the North Central Division Lucas Oil races. We'd like to recognize Greg Campaign in the Book Racing Enterprises Cop Qualifier Award and thank Bob Book for his support. By the way, Greg Campaign is using Bob Book Racing Power for his race car. 
Our super stock, Stock Performer Award, goes to Gary Summers this year. And if Gary, Rich Bowers, and Travis Miller could make your way to the stage, please, gentlemen. Individual class eliminations have for years provided some exciting heads up all out competition in stock and super stock racing. In 2011, NHRA introduced a program to recognize the season's top national performers in class racing. We're proud to have one of the four performer award winners this year. Gary Summers is the super stock stick shift winner. Well, I'd like to thank my wife and all these sponsors and sponsors this series and the Division Three guys. My wife, Cindy, my partner in crime, Tom and Wanda Turner, and my crew chief, Jackson. You want to say something? My papa is a good trick, um, good racer, and he. And, and he's he's such a fast racer, and and I love him, and he's a great racer. Congratulations, Gary. In the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, our second place finishers this year, in competition eliminator, Troy Galbraith, finished with 305 points with his car based out of Indy. Troy drove his small block dragster to a runner-up at Route 66, a Division IV runner-up at Thunder Road Raceway down in Gillum, Louisiana. And he also earned an NHRA silver card with a seventh place finish in the Lucas Oil National Standing. In Superstock, Mark Nowicki out of Michigan. Mark started out with an early season win down at Gainesville, wrapped up his season with a runner-up at Reynolds, Georgia. Like Troy, he finished seventh in the Lucas Oil National Point Standings. In Stock Eliminator, our runner-up was young Austin Richardson out of Tennessee. The 16-year-old Austin be a front runner for Rookie of the Year. He won his very first Stock Eliminator race at the Lucas Oil Raceway and claimed a second win at National Trail. In Super Comp, another Richardson, this one Ryan, another member of the Edmund, Racing, Edmund Richardson Racing family. Ryan had a Super Comp runner-up at National Trail and Bristol, and a national event win in Atlanta. And for Ryan, he finished 10th in the National Super Comp standings. Super Gas, our second place finisher out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, was Steve Hoyt. Steve and Janice took home wins at Columbus, Ohio, and Bristol, and collected enough points to finish number five in the Lucas Oil National Points Championship. He was the 2013 Super Comp Division Champion. Super Street, Phil Smida out of Canfield, Ohio. Phil won the 2013 Super Street Championship, was runner-up in 2014, and finished runner-up again in 2015. He did it with a win at Summit Motorsports Park, a runner-up at the JEG Sports Nationals, and an all-around pretty good season. But again, coming up just short in the number two spot. In the NHRA Brodick, Steve Schmidt, Top Sportsman Racing Series, runner-up Marco Abruzzi gets a check for $1,000. We'll see Marco a little bit later for his Top Dragster Championship as well. In Top Sportsman, he had two runner-ups, one to start the season off at Indianapolis and later at St. Louis. In the NHRA Spitzer Race Cars Top Dragster Series, second place went to Joe Hessler. Joe out of Toledo, Ohio, with a centrifugally supercharged dragster, claimed a win at Reynolds, Georgia, a runner-up at Route 66 Raceway, along with two semifinal finishes to help finish him, help him finish, if I should say, number eight in the national standings. Ladies and gentlemen, our NHRA Division Three 2015 Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series Runner-ups, give him a round of applause. It's really great. <laughs> In 
in our Top Alcohol Dragster and Top Alcohol Funny Car Competition. The North Central region is privileged, if you should say, to have the alcohol cars compete at each and every one of the events. Top Alcohol Dragster, fifth place this year, went to Robin Samson. Robin and Tony did not get to the final round in 2015, but did have a semi-final finish at both Norwalk and Columbus. Finishing fourth place this year in the top alcohol dragster category, Jared Dreher out of Indiana. The Dreher finished, finished, Dreher family finished fourth in 2013, third in 2014, and fourth in 2015. They did this, they won this year with a runner-up at Bowling Green, and again finished fourth this year also. Top alcohol dragster third place winner, Marty Thacker out of Illinois. Marty had to tie his Top Alcohol Dragster Championship in 05, 11, and 14. This year he finished third with a win at Norwalk and three semi-final finishes that also propelled him to number seven in the NHRA Lucas Oil National Championship. Top Alcohol Dragster second place, Brandon Boer out of Illinois. Brandon was looking to add to his 2013 Top Alcohol Dragster North Central Regional Championship. He scored a win at St. Louis, runner-up at Indian Norwalk, and broke apart on a burnout at a race in Oklahoma. Might have taken the championship yet again this year. Those little parts and pieces, they'll come to get you. In Top Alcohol Funny Car, our fifth place finisher this year, out of Davenport, Iowa, was Chris Foster. Chris was the the Top Alcohol Funny Card Division III champion in 2009 and 2011. This year he scored a runner-up at Columbus, a semi-final at Norwalk and Beach Bend, but the highlight of the year was his win up at a very cold Brainerd National event earlier this year. Top Alcohol Funny Card fourth place, Andy Bowl out of Miss Wisconsin. Andy was the former Top Alcohol Funny Card champion in 2013. And in 2015, claimed a win at Bowling Green, then added the U.S. Nationals title to his resume. That's stout. Top Alcohol Funny Car, third place finisher this year, Paul Noakes, out of London, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Paul made the trip down to run five of the North Central Division races in this year, starting the season with a runner-up at Indy and capturing the win at Columbus. And for that... It guarded him a third place finish. Ray Drew finished second, the runner out of Hales Corner, Wisconsin. Moved up to second in 2015. <laughs> with wins at Gateway and the Central Regional Event at Earlville, Iowa, but Tri City Dragway, Tri State Dragway, excuse me. Ray finished third with 277 points. A round of applause, if you would, for our top five finishers. And our alcohol dragster and alcohol funny car. Now we get to the good stuff. The special awards. Rich, if you would please, we have some awards to present. Come on up. Our North Central Division, Lucas Oil Sportsman Mechanic of the Year. Top three finishers as voted on by you all on the Division Three website. Jeff Taylor, a multi-time National Division Championship and owner at Jeff Taylor Race Engines. Phil Oakley, engine builder for many top dragster and top sportsman and super quick racers as well. Jeff Coons, crew chief for Marco Abruzzi's two-car race team. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, if you would, for your North Central Division Lucas Oil Sportsman Mechanic of the Year, Jeff Coons. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Marco. Sometimes we race good, sometimes we don't race so good, but we sure do have a lot of fun. <laughs> and the best people in NHRA right here. I, I, I've had so much fun the last three, four years that I've been working with Marco, and uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. So 
thank you all. I appreciate it. The sportsman driver voting was divided into two separate categories. Super eliminator balloting included super comp, super gas, and super street. The Lucas Oil Sportsman Driver of the Year in the Super Eliminators category. The three finalists, Luke Bogacki, Jacob Elrod, and Scotty Reinshow. Your Lucas Oil Sportsman Driver of the Year in the Super Eliminator category. You heard one of our junior dragsters say a while ago, he looked up to him. Jacob Elrod. Wow, I did not see that coming. I uh, I don't know if this was by vote or points or what, but I just got done saying uh, it's an honor to be nominated. I didn't think I'd win. And Scotty Reinschild is by far more feared in the classes that he runs than I am. And Luke Bukaki as well. And the guy won his division. He won the Mosier race and he won the Jags All-Stars. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm humbled by this. And uh, thank you to everybody in this room and NHRA as well. Thank you. Jacob, it is a vote of the people on the website. And our Lucas Oil Sportsman Driver of the Year for Comp, Super Stock, Stock, Top Sportsman, and Top Dragster categories are three finalists, as voted on by the people, Nick Morris, Todd France, and Marco Abruzzi. Ladies and gentlemen, your Lucas Oil Sportsman of the Driver of the Year in super stock, stock, top sportsman and top dragster. Round of applause, please. Marco Abruzzi. Marco. Okay. This is a big honor. Uh, a lot of great drivers in Division Three. Uh, really don't feel like I deserve it. Consider myself very lucky. Uh, you know, great. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> In the North Central Division, Lucas Oil Pro Sportsman Mechanic of the Year balloting, your three finalists were Randy Dreher. Brandon Boer, and Dave Harada. Pretty good group of guys to draw to, huh? Any one of them, like Jacob said, could be the winner. But the trophy this year goes home with Dave Harada. What an honor and privilege. I mean, first of all, um, thanks, uh, Division Three, the um, baddest, best division, baddest races in the country, bar none. No doubt about that. Um, I get my notes here, too. Um, CERT crew, safety safari, thank you. Unfortunately, we had to use the safety safari one time this year for our driver, and you know, you guys keep us safe, keep us going, and we we appreciate that. Um, Criders, thank you. Um, same thing, being up, uh, coming up to see us, get that little bit of extra uh, support. We appreciate that. And Glenn, if you didn't give me a hard time, it wouldn't be you. So you know, I appreciate you being you. Um, all our partners. Thank you. We couldn't do it without you. Cars Protection Plus. We find parts. NGK, Scapel Motors, Lucas Oil, Strange Engineering, Napa, Amco Transmissions. I mean, we all know what it's like to have to run these cars, and, and we couldn't do it without these people that support us. So we appreciate that. Lucas Oil for supporting the series and providing 
the support they have for years and years. Um, you know, we just appreciate all of you've done for that many uh, years. So thank you. Um, my employees at our at our business, Low Body Shop, Low Automotive, Hammered Restos and, and Customs. I mean, I get to go and play around, play around at the drag strip while our business keeps on running. So uh, we appreciate you keeping our business going. Tedesco Racing, Mr. and Mrs. T, Jason Lynch, Krusty, Mia. What a great partnership. It's been a great, great couple of years. The, uh, I want to tell Jay that they messed up. They put mechanic of the year, so you messed this up. It should be team of the year. The table down there, Grayson Bean, Chris Wells, Byron and Brian Inoue, Ronnie Harder, who's not here, my girlfriend Molly, and my mom and dad. They make me and, and me look good. Nothing falls off our car. No liquid comes out on the track. <laughs> it's good stuff. So this is a team award. It's not just me, so I appreciate that. Um, Real quick, I want to thank Chris Wells, who's on our team for the suit tonight, because I do not own a suit, so I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, I mean, Mr. T, go back only a couple of years, you know, real quick, when I called Mia, you know, two years ago, and I said, hey, you know, heard you got your license, maybe we can team up. You know, called her at the PRI. She didn't know who I was. Okay, let's meet for coffee the next day. Ooh, she don't know who I am. Oh, it, I'll be the guy with the blue hair. <laughs> and this is what it's all about. So it's been a great couple of years, and it's going to keep on going. So thanks, everyone. I appreciate this. It's a great honor. Thank you. Dave, you made the comment that nothing falls off the car, no fluids come out. That's a piece of wood in your hand. You better knock on it. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be the one with the blue hair. Okay. In our Lucas Oil Pro Sportsman Driver of the Year category, the three finalists has voted on by you all. Marty Thacker, Todd Robertson, and Mia Tedesco. Ladies and gentlemen, your Lucas Oil Pro Sportsman Driver of the Year. Drum roll. Mia Tedesco. I feel so blessed. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting this at all, but my guys make me look good. <laughs> I give it to them. I mean, they work their butts off. And the way things happened with me and Dave and how fast, like, we literally put it together a program in, like, two weeks. It was like, you're going to drive for me. I'm like, all right, let's go. And our first year was awesome. And I'm 21. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I deserve this. Everybody in this region is just so competitive and awesome. And uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. This, this is for you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. we take a minute, watch a video, a look at the excitement that was the NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series for 2015 here at Division Three. Sweden can 
continues. Brina Spling Air picking up win number four in her career. And guess what? Severance has done it again. And Harker, and Harker for the tree. Are you kidding me? This one's had it all. It's going to be Annie. Win, Demke, and they're celebrating again. How about this? Mark Tolliver gets the win. Jay, if you would, come back up on stage, please. We've got some more awards to give out. Our NHRA Brodick, Steve Schmidt, Top Sportsman Racing Series, has produced some of the most exciting action and competition in the division. Let's meet the champions for the 2015 NHRA Brodick, Steve Schmidt, Top Sportsman Racing Series. Tony Fignelli, if you would, come up on stage, please. <laughs> Tony didn't really start out the season with the idea of chasing the points, but an opening win at Norwalk and a wide open field at Top Sportsman Racing made going to Bowling Green a must, and another win at Beach Bend led to a trip to Englishtown, New Jersey, and a semi-final round finish at Ohio Valley in Louisville. And that pretty much sealed the deal. His 368 divisional points helped him secure an eighth place finish in the first ever NHRA Top Sportsman National Championship standings. Tony receives his division Wally, his jacket, his gold card. I think Jay's got a check over there for him as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Fignelli, your 2015 champ. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Uh, to quote my friend Marco Abruzzi, I am... Um, as nervous as a pregnant nun. <laughs> First off, I'd like to thank some people who have helped me win the championship this year. Uh, the first person I'd like to thank is my wife, Erin. Um, I was actually able to get Erin to pull some crew chief duties this year, and she did a really well job. Um, I really appreciate the help she gave me this year. So I just might have to break down and buy her some jewelry or... Maybe take her out to eat to her favorite restaurant, Burger King. <laughs> now, if I could just get her to turn some wrenches for me, maybe get her fingernails dirty, that would be awesome. She's not the best crew chief, but she's definitely the prettiest crew chief. <laughs> I'd like to thank my brother, Gino. He's a big reason why I'm up here tonight, if not the biggest reason. Um, Gino's not the prettiest crew chief, but he's definitely the best crew chief. Uh, I want to thank my nephew Pat for coming to me with all the to the races with me all these years and helping me. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, Tom Hemphill at Hemphill Racing Engines. I've been running the same engine for 14 years. Um, I'd like to thank some crew guys that helped me this year: Matt Butter, Randy Butter, George Yego, and Jim Two Time Baberka. How cool is it that I have a two-time Superstock World Champion that crews for me. I mean, it's no big deal. Not everybody can have a two-time World Champion crewing for him. But, uh, I mean, let's face it. Uh, the only reason why he, he does it is because he likes to wear the headset on the starting line. He told me one time that it makes him feel impotent. Important. Important. <laughs> Not impotent, Jim. Sorry. I'm a little nervous up here and my words are getting jumbled around. Sorry, buddy. Important. Um... You know, towards the end of the season, I thought to myself, you know, what did I do differently this year to win the championship 
as opposed to all the other years that I didn't win the championship. And I, I thought long and hard about it, and then it, it finally hit me. It wasn't something that I did, but it was something that I didn't do. Not one time on a Thursday night, Friday night, or Saturday night at the races did I walk down to Glenn Butcher's trailer and drink out of those red plastic cups. <laughs> Not one time did I go down there and he say, here, try one of my cherry, strawberry, banana-flavored daiquiris. Not one time did I go down there and he say, here, try this new concoction. It's my black licorice butterscotch daiquiri. <laughs> Not one time did I go down there and Linda Butcher say, awesome, Fagnelli's here, let's do shots. Maximus, you're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> Not one time this year. Now, is it a coincidence? Or, you know, is that the definitive reason why I won the championship? I don't know. You guys tell me, but if you're, my, the point of the story is if you're gonna run for the championship, do not drink out of Glenn Butcher's red plastic cups. <laughs> I'd just like to thank um, the guys and girls at Division Three, uh, Jay, Rich, all the tech guys, um, Pete, uh, the safety safari. Um, we, we as racers may not always agree with the call that you make, or, um, and, we, and we know that we can be pains in the asses, that's for sure, but we do appreciate the time and the effort and the hard work that you guys put into our sport. Um, I'd like to congratulate all the other champions uh, here tonight. Uh, good luck to everyone next year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, black cups, blue cups, red cups. Just, just watch them over there, but butchers. Player. Oh man. Would like to uh, have Mike Spitzer come on up, if you would, please, Mike. You're going to help us out with our next presentation. Our next presentation happens to be the NHRA Spitzer Race Cars Top Dragster Series, Wally. In its ninth season. It was exciting and quick to say the least. The 15 quickest bump spots in the history of top dragster racing have occurred here in Division Three, including the unreal 647-4 that we did at Beach Bend last year in conditions that, hey, they weren't prime time, guys. And it just tells you what it's going to be. For 2016. Hope you all made some purchases over at the PRI show. It's going to get tough. Our NHRA Spitzer Race Cars Top Dragster Series Champion, Marco Abruzzi. Marco? Marco picked up his second North Central Division Spitzer Race Cars Top Dragster title. He scored a win at his home track, Summit Motorsports Park. And it's interesting to note that only two out of his 13 divisional and national races this year that he failed to go to the third round. A national event win in St. Louis, a semifinal finish at the season-ending Las Vegas divisional title, locked up for Marco as well, the first ever top dragster national champion title. For his division championship, he gets the Wally, the jacket, the gold card, a check, a shake from Mike Spitzer, Jay, and a chance at the podium again. Yeah! Marco! Yeah! Okay, I can't match Tony Fagnelli, I'm sorry. Okay, this is the holiday season, so I thought I'd mention a few things I'm thankful for. Uh, my wife Kim and I celebrated our 20th anniversary this year. Uh, I, uh, we dated for 10 years because I'm cheap and I didn't want to get married. Uh, I've, been, I've been racing for roughly 29 years, been on the highway for 20 years, and uh, I can only do it because I have such a great wife. Uh, she has a real job, has benefits, health insurance, uh, everything it takes uh, lets me follow this dream. Uh, I have no idea why she'd stay with me, but she did, and I'm thankful for it. I love you, Kim. Uh, we have two great kids, Emily and Nicholas. Emily has a junior. We took it out three times this year. Uh, Nick will be in a junior in two years. I'm sure you'll hear from him soon, though. 
Uh, my great crew guy, Jeff, I'm glad he won the award. Hardest working guy in the room, I guarantee it. Uh, if any of you know me, we wouldn't race out of the state of Ohio or Northeast Ohio if I had to drive the truck. I'm good for two hours if I get a good night's sleep, that's it. Uh, I'm thankful for the great sponsors I have. Summit Racing Equipment, Jim Greeley, they've been with me for a long time, do a great job. Uh, Farron at Hoosier, uh, I make them a nervous wreck, but I think I represent them okay. Miller Race Cars, Ray and Ray Ray, they were behind me all season. Everyone at the transmission shop. I wasn't there much this year, but they did a good job. Uh, Dave Spitzer for back in the best class, and then HRA, uh, appreciate that. Uh, everyone at Pro Charger, Penske Shocks, Joey Hessling, Rodex, Dave Bass and Sean Miner, local guys that built my engine, did a great job. Todd's Extreme Paint, Brian Brow of Brow Bow Housings. I'm thankful for the great friends I have in Division Three, all the competitors that make it tough out here, which makes you a better driver, all the officials, the safety safari. I uh, feel good seeing you guys sitting on the truck every night. Uh, my good friend Bob Jones, he had a rough year this year, uh, lost his wife, Linda. Uh, you're always in our thoughts. Um, my buddy Jason Lynch that taught me how to bracket race. I uh, appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you. Uh, Mr. Tedesco for feeding us at every event. You shouldn't do it, but you do. A little too much food. Uh, my good friends, Glenn and Linda Butcher, they chose to sit with the Fagnellis that's tonight. That's okay. I still love you guys. Uh, and I'm also thankful that my dad took me to the races as a young kid. Uh, I can't imagine where I'd be today if he took me golfing or played tennis or some other lame sport like that. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to say thanks to NHRA for uh, allowing the classes that uh, that we've sponsored, and and uh, very thankful of that. And I and I also want to thank NHRA because of the classes that they had: Top Dragster, uh, Comp Eliminator, Super Comp, and Top Alcohol Dragster and Alcohol Funny Car. We built quite a few cars for those classes, and uh, and I'm very thankful that they keep those classes around. I guess one thing I'm really proud of is the fact that uh, 52 years of marriage to my wife and Thursday night at our open house at our shop, we celebrated our 45th year as a, a chassis builder. And um, everybody thought when we started the concept cars, the street rods and all that stuff, that would all go away and they're wrong. We got a ton of cars to build. And I want to thank all you people that have invested in my cars and made them very successful because it's not me that makes them successful. It's the drivers and the owners and the engine builders. So thank you very much. Have, having a great time. Thank you. We'd like to extend our appreciation to Spitzer Race Cars for their continued support of the NHRA Spitzer Top Dragster Series. And now, We'd like to have Kevin McWilliams from Lucas Oil to join us up on stage. Kevin, if you would, come on up. We've got some Lucas Oil championships to pass out some wallies to and some checks. I think Kevin's got the checks. He's got the important stuff, guys. Kevin, would you like to say a few words? Well, first, I would like to uh, thank Jay and his crew, uh, Division Three NHRA, for everything they do and keeping the NHRA as the most popular motorsport in the world. Also would like to, on behalf of Lucas Oil Products, Mav TV, Lucas Oil Racing TV, to congr uh, congratulate all the champions and thank all the participants, the drivers in Division Three. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and let's, let's uh, hand out some money. Starting off, Super Street, ladies and gentlemen, Scotty Reinschell, if you'd step up to the stage, please, we'd like to hand you a trophy for your Super Street Championship. <laughs> Scotty and Kendra really found the groove this year in Super Street that their Corvette likes. They have Super Street Championships in 2011, 2014, and now 2015. With a win at Beach Bend, along with the Jegs All-Star Race and the Mo Sportsman Mosier Sportsman Shootout. Scotty receives his division championship Wally, his Lucas Oil Champions jacket, 
his gold card, and like I said, those all-important checks from Lucas. Scotty, if you would. <laughs> I thought he may want to talk a little bit, but he's shaking it off, so we'll let him go. Um, I'll make it quick. Uh, thank you so much to, to NHRA, Lucas Oil, uh, Mosier, Jags. Uh, they do really well for our programs. They allow us to recoup some of the money we spend at this stuff. Uh, I have the most amazing family behind me. Uh, we do this as a, as a family. And uh, this is my son, Cade. He's my crew chief. Say hi. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to thank everybody that helps me out, all my friends and family. Uh, many of you guys out there are uh, part of our family. Uh, so we spend a lot of weekends at the racetrack, uh, and, and we have a good time. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess uh, glory be to God. Uh, everybody have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and we'll see you all next year. You don't know it yet, but you got the good part. <laughs> In super gas, Jacob Elrod. Jacob, if you could make your way back up to the stage, please. Our super gas champion. As he has done so often, Jacob wheeled the Elrod family's Sunoco sponsored Corvette Roadster to a win at Route 66. Made a late season charge with wins down at Reynolds, Georgia, a national event win at Gateway Motorsports Park, and that helped him claim the Super Gas Lucas Oil National Championship as well as his North Central Divisional title. Jacob gets his check, his Wally, his champion's jacket, and all the accolades, and the attaboys, and the yahoos, and well, you get the idea. I'm finding myself at a loss of words. And the funny thing is, it's okay. Because the last thing that I need is to be heard, but to hear what you would say. And I wasn't sure who to start thanking in either of my speeches. And I'm gonna choose to start with this big guy upstairs because he's watched me make so many mistakes. He's watched me lose my temper with my family and the people that love me. He's watched me cuss and throw fits and act ways I'm not supposed to. And it usually takes where he has to slam a door in my foot face before I realize that that's not what he wants for me. And I have to give all the glory to God. Next, I, I can't express enough how grateful I am for the sacrifices my parents, Dave and Barb Elrod, have given to me. It's not just the money. We joke in the family that I've been spending my dad's 401k for a long time. <laughs> it's the time and the energy that's just been unmeasurable. I'm grateful for your love, for teaching me how to be a great parent, for sharing the love of this sport and bringing me into it. I owe them thank yous for dressing us kids when we were little alike so we could be made fun of. <laughs> like something out of the sound of music. I'd like to thank my dad for teaching me how to drive, for building a uh, brand new 2014 American race cars for this season and then letting me steal it away from him in Supercom. I'd like to thank my sisters, Shelly and Jamie, for being my wolf pack, um, for always trying to go around the pits and look where all the other single girls are and trying to find a date for me. Especially that beautiful and crazy sister, Jamie, that you guys see running around the track, helping me at midnight. Whether it's uh, changing brakes or oil or a whole pump or who knows what we're working on, she works really hard and she's definitely one of the best crew chiefs in the room right now. I'd like to thank my bigger but yet younger brother, Tony, for giving me a competitive drive to always trying to one-up him, for calling me a duck or the worst driver in the world, for not letting anyone else ever attack me, and he's always got my back. To my sister-in-law, Hillary, my nieces, Brittany and Sierra, Lily, my godson, AJ, I love you all. To my biggest fan in the room, Vivian, she's my VIP, I call her that all the time. I'm so proud to be your dad. You inspire me to do great things. 
use my imagination, and to never stop dreaming. One of my best friends and sponsors, Brian Basil of Basil Race Fuels for opening doors in my racing career and for his little man, Blaine. You definitely inspire me, buddy. For Rob Morrow and Terry Thompson and the staff at Sunoco Race Fuels for supporting our grassroots marketing efforts. We didn't always run Sunoco. We weren't happy with the previous fuel we used to run with the consistency. and We choose to run Sunoco products. To Rob and Suzer Mosier, the, the family at Mosier Engineering for supporting so many races. To Farron Lubers at Hoosier Tire, to Marv, Angela, and Jack at Quick Fuel Technology, Ken Sink with Milladon Oil Pumps, k and Filters and their awesome carbon fiber scoops and, and filters in support of Team Elrod Marketing. Thank you to Digital Lay, DJ Safety, Jiffy Tight, MSD Altronics, All-Star Performance, Moroso, and Weldon Pumps. And really specialty companies like Jegs, Cars Protection Plus, and Jim and Don from Summit who have supported so many races and given racers like us, a race to have, a place to race. It was an honor to win my first Mellow Yellow event at St. Louis because I got to share the victory with one of my friends and my sponsors, Marco Bruzzi. Thank you for everything that you do. To Travis and Mark Horton from American Race Cars, they didn't build my Super Gas Corvette, but they support so much of our fabrication and Team Elrod. There's some secrets you hesitate giving away as a racer, and one of those is how amazing the customer service, the speed, and the reliability that we get from the staff at PAR Racing Engines in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Stock, Scott Duggins and staff and everybody at the shop support us. And in January of 2014, we put the motor in this super gas car and it hadn't left the chassis since. So all those rods and rings and pistons, all last season, all of this season, I'm not gonna promise you that if you take your motor to them, that you're not gonna break something and be as fortunate we have but they've treated us well anytime we've needed something from them. All we have to do is change the oil and put a little bit more pen grade one oil and it just keeps going laps. Thank you to all the rest of my family at home, the hardworking staff and officials when we're bitching and complaining because there's been oil down and, and we're not racing and they're working their butts off and sweating, trying to get the track clean so we can keep racing. To Lucas Oil for supporting our events and everybody at ITRA, especially those officials. Thank you very much. Jeremy Mason. Jeremy, I know you're out here somewhere. Come on up to stage, huh? Jeremy Mason, your super comp champion for 2015, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Driving a 2015 Miller Dragster with a big block Chevy. He earned a win at Bristol, Tennessee, a runner up at National Trail, and along with several late round finishes, claims his first ever Division III Super Comp Championship. Jeremy? Thanks. It's truly been an incredible year. I never would have imagined standing here starting the year with a brand new race car and combination. I'm honored to stand on this stage tonight. First, I'd like to thank NHRA and Lucas Oil uh, for having an incredible series for all us sportsman racers. I would also like to thank my wife, Brandy, my mom and dad who support me in everything I do, uh, my friend JB and his wife who came to support me tonight, Renegade Race Fuels, Ohio Crankshaft, Pro System Carbs, Hoosier, Molly, and TCE Safety who supported me all year. Thanks. In Stock Eliminator, my favorite category, one of my favorite categories. Over 215 different Stock Eliminator racers this year earned points in the North Central Division, and many never won a race, including this year's champion, Mitch Truman. Mitch, come on up. Mitch actually only made one final round appearance, a runner-up at Beach Bend, but he did go rounds. 
taking the championship by nine points. Basically the equivalent of, you know, less than one round. Mitch Truman, a.k.a. New Bomb Turk, gets his trophy, his jacket, his championship wally, a check. Pretty humble to be up here. There's a lot of good racers in Stock Eliminator. And uh, I'm no better than any other any other stock racers that are in this room tonight. Well, maybe a couple of them. But. <laughs> <laughs> this is out of my element, speaking to a crowd like this. They said, picture everybody naked. And I look over at Aaron Dysinger, and I, I can't go there. I just can't go there. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm really humbled. I was really blessed by God to, for this win. And I give glory to him. And I want to thank uh, Farron at Hoosier Tire, keeping me fresh tires. I want to thank Dave Edwards for selling me a great car. You put a number on the window, that's what it's going to run. Um, I want to thank, thank Jay and all his crew. Red Man always give me a great pit spot. Brad always give me a hassle when I'm staging. And uh, <clears throat> most of all, I want to thank my wife. She's we were gone five weeks straight. She's always got the motor home clean, the pack full of good food, and my clothes clean. She's always always there for me, never complains. So appreciate her the most. So y'all have a Merry Christmas and great New Year. Thank you. The man could probably cite the movie Hollywood Nights front to back. <laughs> In super stock, our Lucas Oil champion for 2015, Mr. Nick Morris. Nick? <laughs> Nick and his dad, Bob, have the 2007 Division Three super stock Wally at home. And with wins this year at Norwalk and Reynolds, Georgia, they claimed a second championship. He was in a position to make a run at the national championship, which he made a trip out to Las Vegas and Pomona, resulting in a runner-up finish in super stock in the national Lucas Oil points standings. Ladies and gentlemen, your super stock champion, Nick Morris. Wow, what a year. Um, I'd like to start by thanking, actually, or congratulating Brad Zaskowski. Uh, I'm not sure if Brad's here tonight or not. I know he checked in in Indianapolis on Facebook, but I'm not sure if he's actually in the room. Uh, Mark Nowicki, a great year. Um, it's crazy to think that eight, year, you know, eight races in, we travel the country, and it comes down to literally the last race, the last round, uh, to decide who's standing up here tonight. So congratulations to you on a great year. Uh, I think one of the things I'm probably most excited about, and it's probably going to sound crazy, but the gold card. And not so much for the money, but as racers, or for me anyway, I need a good excuse every year to go race. And so this year I can tell my wife that it's free. So I get to, I get to go race. So, you know, I never dreamed at the beginning of the year that I'd be here. Um, my wife and I was fortunate enough this year to um, welcome our daughter into the world in January. So for that reason, I didn't think I would race much. Um, you get a couple races in, we won the first one, run it up at the second one, so then you become committed. Uh, and that was my excuse, hey, points, I mean, I got to chase the points, so that's my excuse for the year. But um, fortunately enough, we, we finished and, and had a good year, and a lot of it goes back to the support that I had from her. Um, I'm forever grateful, appreciative. Um, you're a great mom, great uh, friend, great wife. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, we had a 500-mile drive home from Reynolds, and at that point I was like fourth in the national championship, so I'm like, hey, I got to go out west, but how am I going to figure this out? And uh, I promised the second kid, and I ended up getting to go out to Las Vegas and, and race. So she says three, I say two. Um, my daughter, she's here tonight. She's actually upstairs. Um, hopefully she's asleep. Uh, if not, we should probably take a drink to my brother-in-law. Um, it's a rough night for him. Um, but she's been, you know, I give a lot of success for her. She's one of those things when she came to the world, she's changed my whole thought process. Um, she doesn't care if I win or lose. When I come home, she's always smiling. Um, used to hate first-round losses. Now it's I'm going home to her, and I'm going to be home like a day and a half sooner than I would have been <laughs> otherwise. So uh, I really appreciate her. It's just great what she's uh, done to our life. Uh, my parents, holy cow. Now you guys supported us from my sister and I from when we were growing up. 
um, have set an example for us and, and helped shape who we are today. So I appreciate all that you guys have done. Um, can't have the success without my crew chief, Dad. Man, you do all the work on the car. Um, sorry I can't be there as much as I used to be. Uh, probably a good thing. If I had to turn the wrenches, I don't know that I would drive. I'd leave that to somebody else. Um, my sister, she's here tonight. My, ne my nephew, Garrett. You guys can't come uh, to the races as much because of the schedules. I know you're here. You're at home in spirit. Um, when you're going late rounds, I know you're feeding me information from live TV and Drag Race Central will have you, so I really appreciate that. Um, next, our extended family, the racing family that we have, uh, Ricky, Jeff, man, you guys, a big help. At a lot of the races we talk, qualifying ladder, we talk weather. Uh, at the end of the year, you guys weren't there, but you were sending me messages through Facebook or through text and, and following everything online. And I probably shouldn't say this, but I know going into the last qualifying session at Pomona, uh, Ricky's sending me a text, hey, you need to do this, or hey, you need to do that as I was pulling in the water box. So I appreciate that. Hopefully there's no rule change next year that eliminates phones from cars. Um, Missy, Charlotte, thank you guys. Uh, Irvin, Gina, man, we had a blast in Las Vegas. Thank you guys, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Todd, congratulations. Um, I never would have thought somebody sends a car to Las Vegas with no motor, ships the motor the next week. You get to Vegas, put the motor in, qualify number one, win the race, man. You guys are a class act. We had a lot of fun. Congratulations. Um, the Division Three staff, thank you guys. I appreciate it. It's one of those things you, you probably take for granted how good we have it here in Division Three until you run other races. And that's from the staff to the racetracks that we get the race on. Um, I mean, it's great. I appreciate it. Uh, Lucas Oil, thank you guys, all the sponsors. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. I think one of the things for me, just to, as closing the night, I was reading an article uh, on Georgia football. I'm from Kentucky, so you don't get money uh, football articles in the news. So I was reading on Georgia's football team. They fired their coach because he didn't win enough championships, basically. And uh, in the article, he said, hey, life's about people. It's not about rings or championships. And uh, when I reflect back on the year, that's what I think of. I think of the people, the laughs, the memories, the good times that we had. So thank you. Have a good night. In competition eliminator, Mr. Todd France, as Nick just alluded to, is your champion. Todd, come on up. Cop Eliminator. <laughs> Todd started out his 2015 season with a win at Indy, a runner-up in Norwalk, and with only two points separating Galbraith, Bailey, and himself in the points chase, he headed to Las Vegas. Won the event in Las Vegas, won the division championship, and helped decide the national championship as well for Craig Bourgeois. He also joined the ranks of racers doubling up at national events this year with wins in both Superstock and Cobb at this year's JEGS Northern Sports Nationals. Todd France, your 2015 Division III Comp Eliminator Champion. His check, his wallet, his jacket, all the good stuff. Here's the man. Wow, what an awesome year we've had. It's been a great year. First, I need to thank my family for all their support, Tracy, Paige, Price, my dad for all the hard work you do, the long hours. I need to thank Irvin and Gina for all the stuff they do for me to make this race team a great success. I need to thank Jeff and Patty Taylor for all the help they do with our motor. I need to thank NHRA for all the support and all the I'm not no good at this. I need to thank Jay for all the stuff he does for us, even though we may, we may be a pain in the butt sometime. But last but not least, I need to thank all the racers out there for their support. I'm looking forward to 2016. Thank you, guys. Todd, don't go away. As, uh, I believe this is the 11th special award that we presented. Back at the, uh, when NHRA celebrated its 50th anniversary, 
we um, kind of did some research on some of the older races, and they uh, there was a, a, a points race where they used to give spark plugs and wrenches and things out, and one of the awards was a uh, bowling ball and bag. And uh, so we picked up on it, and uh, Olsen Paint and Body. Uh, it takes on a little special meaning this year. Uh, we lost a good friend in Bryant, and uh, every year they've, they've decked out a bowling ball in the uh, paint scheme of the champion in competition eliminator. And it's um, a real pleasure to present this year's ball to Todd Friend. In Top Alcohol, Funny Car Racing, your champion this year was Todd Robertson out of Harrison Township, Michigan. Todd, you come on up. <laughs> After finishing ninth in 2013, fifth in 2014, the 2015 North Central Regional Champion jumped to the top this year, driving his 2012 Eaton Chevrolet Monte Carlo to the championship. Following a season opening win at Indy, he rebounded from a rare D&Q at St. Louis with a runner-up finish at Bowling Green and capped off the season with a semifinal showing up in Earlville, Iowa. For Todd and the team, they receive a $10,000 check in NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, a, point, a, a Wally, the champion's jacket, a gold card, and Well, I've never stood up here before, and this is a great place to be, let me tell you. Okay, we do this because it's fun. We do it because we love racing, and we all love to hang out together. But I can't believe what a year we've had and what we've been able to accomplish this season in only our fourth year in Top Elk Golf Funny Car. The competition's fierce. The people have been doing this for a long, long time, second-generation people. Um, it, it's just huge. It's crazy that I'm even here talking about it. Um, it, it takes a lot of hard work from a lot of pe great people, friends, family, to make something like this happen. First and foremost, my wife, she works as hard as any of us, leading up to the race, get everything ready, and home cooking for everybody so they got all the, the right kind of food going and everything, so nothing's, you know, it's all organically right, right? Uh, my son, to keep everything clean and keep the wife happy. Uh, I got a couple of guys that have been racing with me for 20 plus years. I've got Chuck and Rocco and Jeff, and they're just great that we go everywhere together and do all kinds of things. We have a great time. I've got a guy, Ed, he works with me every day and puts up with some crazy stuff that we do every day. And wherever we're going or coming home or not coming home, he's, he's there for me every day. It's awesome. Been able to pick up a couple of new guys this year. I've got Alan, Jim, and Larry. They came on at the first race this season, and ever since then we've been doing good, so they're not allowed to leave anymore. Um, Eaton and Aeroquip, they've been with me for 15 plus years, and they've pushed me in forward and pushed me and pushed me when I'm not sure I'm ready to do it, and they know I am. So I gotta give them a whole lot of credit for getting us into an alcohol funny car. Uh, Darren Mayer, everyone at DMP, they have insane knowledge and they take care of anything I break at a last minute. Uh, we've, we've only, we only owned one supercharger, we've heard it, we've driven eight hours to a shop, worked on it for eight hours, drove eight hours home and went on and raced the next day and everything was good. Um, his service is second to none. Lucas Oil, for everything they do, the series, the product support, everything, it's, it's great, it really is. Pack Springs for keeping our high RPM Hemi happy. Um, Andy at Line to Line, keeping everything coated. CV Products. Kevin at Total Seal, he hooks us up with all kinds of latest and greatest rings, makes everything happy. Bill at Clevite Bearings, keeping everything spinning. Mike Neighbors Fabrication, the guy can do anything, it's beautiful, and there's never a bill, so you can't beat it. Uh, safety Clean, helping us keep all of our stuff clean. 
NHRA Safety Safari and everything they do, and uh, it's just awesome. I can't believe it, and Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. I'll see you all next year. You know, one trophy to give, and that's top alcohol dragster, Mia. Come on back up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your top alcohol dragster champion for 2015, Mia Tedesco. Mia drove the Dave Harada tune, McKinney chassis dragster to wins at Lucas Oil Raceway, Route 66 Raceway and a runner-up at National Trail. She used her win at Charlotte Four Wide to help her finish number four in the Lucas Oil National Standings. She gets her check, her trophy, her wally, her jacket, the accolades, the attaboys, the girls in this case. Mia, congratulations. Thank you. It's quite an honor to be asked to speak with you for a few moments. I'd like to start by offering my appreciation and love to the following people. God, for the blessings too numerous to count or to even understand fully. Thanks also to my parents and my sister, Natalie, for their unwavering support and love. My boyfriend, Andy, and his parents, everyone on our team, Jason, Krusty, Bryson, Kenny and Chio, Dave, Molly, Grayson, Lulu, Phil, JR, Ronnie, and Devin. I also would like to thank Michael Carmen, who passed away earlier this year. I don't think I'd be racing here without him. <laughs> to find myself standing here tonight almost feels like it's not real. It has been such a fast, powerful, and exciting ride in more ways than one. Two years ago, here at the PRI show, a mutual friend, Disco Dean, who Dave and I both know, knew I was looking for a way to get into a top alcohol dragster, and he suggested that I meet Dave. Soon after that, I get a text from Dave telling me to meet him at the food court, and he was the one with the blue hair. <laughs> now, most of you have met my dad, and he's also always been my fiercest and most dedicated protector. I knew that meeting guys with blue hair probably wasn't going to be on his top 10 th list of things to do, <laughs> so I had a little convincing to do. <laughs> and gathered here tonight, I think all of us are glad that I did. That's because it turned out to be a great fit. Everything blended together perfectly right from the start. In that initial first half season, we won Bowling Green and qualified number one for the first time as a team. That record of achievement continued this year, running 18 races a season, which is nearly twice as many as the last, finishing number one this year. The color of Dave's hair still changes depending on the week, and I haven't been able to determine which color brings me the most luck yet. This honor is so wonderful and so appreciated, and I see it as a stepping stone to con continued success, God willing. The truth is, I never imagined winning a region by 21 years of age. We can't do it without our terrific sponsors, so I'd like to thank Cars Protection Plus, We Find Parts, Amco, Scaple Motors, NGK, Lucas Oil, Hoosier, Wilkerson, Quick Fuel Technology, Abruzzi, and r, &R Connecting Rods. This honor comes with special appreciation to my fellow racers. Everyone in this region is such a great competitor, and I believe that this is the toughest region in the US, which makes it really special. Actually, the level of respect my fellow racers have for one another led me to kind of root for Boer to win. And he almost passed me. Sorry, Boer. Notice I said kind of was rooting for you. I can't wait for next year's season to begin. One last quick story I'd like to share. My team made a bet in Charlotte that if I won there, Grayson would let me shave his beard. His attitude was like, yeah, sure, you can shave my beard. I don't think he was all that worried about it actually happening. You have to understand that Grayson loves his beard, so if I came in first, this had the potential of being a pretty big deal. Turns out, I did win Charlotte, but in the excitement and celebration, we all forgot about the beard bet for a while. But later I remembered, and to his credit, credit Grayson did let me clip away until he emerged beard-free. Nobody recognized him afterwards, but I sure did appreciate his gesture. It proved this, his dedication to our team and is something that I'll never forget. But I think that story, along with kind of rooting for Boer and the one about meeting the guy with the blue hair, just goes to prove that in this sport, unlike most others, we truly do care about each other. 
We're willing to accept and celebrate each person's unique qualities and work as a real team to achieve a shared goal, even while supporting others competing for that same prize. This racing life continues to be a wonderful journey, and I'm so proud and happy to be sharing it with all of you. Thank you for this honor. God bless. Kevin, we thank you for your support, your Lucas Oil, and everything that you guys bring to the sport. We're down to one last award, and Jay's going to present that, but before I give the podium back to him, I want to say thanks to Jay for giving me a call and giving me an opportunity to become part of the D3 family. I've met a lot of you this weekend and, and this evening. I'm looking forward to meeting a lot more of you as the, the, the year progresses. I want to thank Jay. I want to thank everybody here in Division Three for welcoming me with open arms. Leo Tower was a good friend. I worked many a race with him. Ryan Olson was in the same business that I am in the collision industry. Been in it for years. Brian and I spent many a night yakking about cars and hot rods. And I know I'm coming in trying to fill the shoes of two of the best. Don't know that I'll ever do it, but I'm going to give you 100%. I'm looking forward to working with all of you, looking to get to know all of you. God bless you all. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2016. Jay, it's all yours. Tonight's 49th Annual Awards Banquet officially closes out the 2015 season and starts 2016 here in the Land of the Winners. And now for a special award that we annually present here in the Land of the Winners, it's the Winners Person of the Year. Over the years, we have recognized a number of individuals for outstanding accomplishments or contributions to NHRA drag racing here in the Land of the Winners. Last year, we honored the Dallas Jones family from Beach Bend Raceway Park. The common denominator to our winner's person of the year has generally been passion. Tonight's honoree has passion for NHRA drag racing in Division Three. Couple that with his background from a racing family, as well as having been a racetrack operator and announcing, and his expertise in information technology, and you have D3 TV. In 2015, we introduced live streaming of NHRA North Central Division events via D3TV. It was a huge successful test run that generated over 150,000 views of North Central Division drag racing action online. Tonight, we present the Land of the Winners Person of the Year Award to Warren Evans. and everything. How about that? <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, Jay. And thanks to all of you for, uh, for all the positive feedback about D3TV. Um, wow, I don't know what to say exactly. Um, a year ago, if you'd have told me this is how it would have turned out, I would have said it was the most improbable thing ever because just a year ago we talked about doing this and um, we didn't really have a plan. We'd never done it before. We didn't have a budget. Uh, we're going to six racetracks that we'd never been to before. Uh, it's a one-man show. You got no money. Um, let's do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it, it turned out pretty well, I'd say, though. As Jay said, 150,000 views over the past year and uh, 147 countries worldwide. And you think about that, uh, Todd's being watched in Uzbekistan or wherever, you know, around the world. You know, it's, it's, it's just mind-boggling to me that it turned out. And it's, um, it's been a work in progress from the beginning, if you noticed uh, each and every race, it got a little bit better and a little bit bigger. And we're looking forward to some good things in 2016. Uh, we will be back in 2016, the divisional races and uh, the fall classic and the 
bracket finals and sports nationals. And so so I, I think it's going to be a, a great thing. I have to thank Jay Hollinger, my IT guy. <laughs> yeah, if you had any idea, you know. But, um, you know, Jay kind of took a flyer on a... a on the prospect of doing this, and uh, it turned out it turned out pretty well. And I think we've got a unique product. I know that uh, we've got. Um, it amazes me who's watching and how they're watching. I know the pink people at Bang Shift watch our stuff, and uh, Motor Mania watches our stuff. And, um, it, it just blows my mind. I, but. Uh, It's pretty easy to get put together a good quality product when you've got the best drag racing in the country, you've got the best crew to work with anywhere around. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to take a good picture of a supermodel, right? I mean, that's kind of how it, how it works out. So, anyway, I've babbled long enough. I look forward to 2016. I appreciate the support and uh, thank you all. And Linda, thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this evening uh, the Land of the Winners Awards Banquet presented by RaySkillmanCars.com. And again, you're going to have the opportunity to uh, view the proceedings, uh, I believe, starting next Saturday on D3TV. Uh, we're only 120 days from the first uh, 2016 North Central Division race. We kick off our Jake Super Quick Series in St. Louis. And guys, there's only 12 days of shopping before Christmas. We hope you have a Merry Christmas. We hope you have a uh, Happy New Year. We hope you'll join us down the uh, hallway here just momentarily for the winner's party as the uh, celebration continues here at the Indianapolis Wyndham West. Good night, everybody. Thank you.